the finest work for brass quintet uh, by the most important composer historically, Johann Sebastian Bach. Um, important in the sense of in, compared to other composers. If you made a list of the five finest composers, any list of ten would include Bach. Surely a hundred. You'd have to have Bach in that list. There's no, there's no question. It's just amazing. Now he wrote this piece, this fugue in G minor. It's a famous work, but there's another fugue also in G minor, equally famous. It's a different piece. So if we were just to announce that we're going to play the fugue in G minor, it could be confusing. We might be playing one piece or another and it doesn't work together. We have to be very careful to remind each other which great fugue in G minor we're playing. In fact, one is called the great fugue in G minor. It's a function of translation. In German, die große Fuge in Gemal. Große means size as well as great. It can be translated two ways. It has two meanings. And consequently, we think that die große Fuge means great fugue, as a wonderful fugue, which would suggest this one is not a wonderful <laughs> fugue. Now, you'd think, as time goes by, knowing the problem with translation, we'd be more careful because we could put it in more contemporary terms, it would be very simple. If the large fugue was known as the grande fugue, and this was known as the tall fugue in G minor, <laughs> everybody would understand. So here's the fugue in G minor, the tall. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 